we've taken a multi-spore liquid and we've created these liquid cultures. Todd Henderson is the guy who makes the magic happen. As head cultivator at Optimi Health, he's responsible for growing psilocybin mushrooms. It starts with inoculating these sterilized grain bags with spores. These will essentially turn completely white from mycelium. It'll totally engulf it. Optimi has built two identical 10,000 square foot buildings just outside of Princeton. In constructing the $14 million facilities, the company is positioning itself as a leader in the burgeoning field of psychedelics. Thousands of years ago, the Chinese and, and the indigenous people were using these and solving all kinds of issues on their own. And here it is, thousands of years later, we're reverting back to it. Psychedelic mushrooms are illegal to grow, sell, and pick in Canada, but Health Canada has licensed Optimi to produce them for clinical researchers and for their own clinical trials in this on-site laboratory. We are the only GMP organic facility in the world that can supply what we do. Uh, we have contacts all over the world uh, for people who would like to do research with psilocybin. The two facilities have 10 growing rooms and can produce about 1,800 kilograms of dry mushrooms a month. More than enough mushrooms to supply the world. After harvest, the mushrooms are dried and kept in a secure vault before they're shipped off to research institutions around the world. Scientists are studying the therapeutic effects of psilocybin, the active ingredient in the mushrooms, for treating everything from depression to anxiety. There's some, you know, growing evidence that uh, psilocybin can help resolve treatment-resistant depression in a way that's as effective or perhaps more effective even than traditional antidepressants. Earlier this year, Health Canada loosened restrictions to allow some physicians to treat patients with psilocybin through the government's special access program. And that puts Optimi in a position to supply psychedelic mushrooms for medicinal use if Canada and other countries open up further access to them. Brady Strachan, CBC News, Princeton.